Hi guys, I just finished reading The Codex by Douglas Preston. It made me rethink a couple of things about my search. And in a minute, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Douglas Preston and Forrest Fenn are longtime friends from back in the 1980s. According to Douglas Preston, it was back in the early 1990s that Forrest Fenn took him into his vault and showed him the treasure chest and told him of his plan to hide it. But back then in the early 1990s, Forrest Fenn still thought that he was probably going to be dying of his cancer. So his plan was that he was going to inter himself along with the treasure chest in some secret hiding place only Finn knew. Douglas Preston was so intrigued of Forrest Finn's idea, he asked if he could write a book about it. And in 2004, the Codex was released. I found a lot of similarities in the book between the Codex and Forrest Finn's treasure hunt for sure. The book is about a wealthy art collector who lives in Santa Fe, New Mexico. He loves fly fishing. He's dying of cancer. He comes up with this plan to entomb himself with his art collection somewhere in the world and it's up to his three sons to find out where that is in order to receive their inheritance. One of the detectives in the book is Detective Fenton and then later in the book there's a character by the name of Mr. Fenner so I got a kick out of that. I don't want to give too much of it away just in case you haven't read it but I really enjoyed the codex. After reading about how Forrest Finn was going to inter himself with the chest, and then reading about the tomb in the Codex, it made me rethink some of the things about the way that um, I had envisioned where the chest might be hidden. Forrest Finn changed the poem over the years, but he never changed the location of where it was hidden. He said from the very beginning that he always had in mind where that treasure chest was going to be hidden. I'm like, I'm looking in the wrong spot. I'm not talking about the state. I'm talking about the actual spot. Because this treasure chest and Forrest Fenn would have to fit in whatever space that is. Forrest Fenn is not a short man. He's like six foot tall. So when he says get out there and kick over some logs, I took him literally. I was out there, I think I video of myself out there, you know, poking under logs and down into tree stumps. In this area, there's definitely a lot of old logs to kick around and look around. That's what Forrest Fenn had mentioned. But there doesn't appear to be anything in there. At one point, Forrest Finn even said something like he was going to lay his body over the chest and let his bones go back to nature. So what was the plan that Forrest Finn told Douglas Preston? According to Douglas Preston, Forrest Finn's plan was to inter himself with the chest. Inter, in this case, refers to depositing a dead body in the earth or a tomb. I've changed my mind after I read the Codex, something about that tomb made me change my mind. I came up with this demonstration and I had my two grandsons come over to help. We started out by making a treasure chest roughly the size of Forrest Fenn's treasure chest. For my demonstration, I just wanted to show you I have two boxes and with my two helpers I'm going to show you that a six foot tall man has to be in some space that's larger than this. As you can see, I don't think a six foot tall man could fit in there. Do you think a six foot tall man could fit in there? No. No. Definitely not. Definitely not. That's pretty small. This treasure chest won't even fit in there with him. It needs to be larger than this. Okay, this is a medium sized box. This is 16 by 16 by 15. So you can see that you're looking for a bigger space than that. He can't even get that himself in there and the treasure chest. When you guys are out searching for the treasure, are you looking for some place that would fit Forrest Fenn's body and the treasure chest? I'm just really curious what you guys think. Leave your comments below.
Thanks a lot for watching. We'll catch up with you down the road. Bye, guys. Close your eyes and let us fade away. Build a secret place for you and me. Let our minds be caught up in a dream. There's no one left but you and me. It's like a made up place that only we can see.